Okay, uh, welcome back to Dice Throne Adventures. Um, we've got what we hope is the final version of the mod. Um, I'm just going to do a new playthrough. We're going to use um, Black Widow on this one. And per the mod maker's request, I have renamed my images folder in my tabletop directory, copy pasted all the images from his mod. I think we're just looking to see if everything loads. And it looks like it has. Okay. Pick a difficulty. Pick the Black Widow. Where is she? Here we go. There she is. And we should have it's not. Well, that's still pretty easy to read. Um, I thought he had chunked the boards up. But that's okay. Alright. Um, I'm not going to do any legacy cards because I don't. I haven't actually beat a run yet. Um, oh, this is moved. I like this, sir. Did you do the other side? You did. Okay. These used to lay lay flat on the table. He's made them float up in the air here, which is nice. Okay. Uh, no legacy cards, so we'll just hit the, um, I forget what they call that. Um, but you click this. If you don't want to add the legacy packs, you just don't flip them. Hit this to start. We are started. We're going to draw a scenario card by just plopping it here. And we'll flip it. Grab a salve. Here. I hope I remember all the tips. Ooh, it, it gave me my four cards. It didn't used to do that. That's handy. All right. All right. I don't know how to play the Black Widow. But that's okay. Flip this baby. Let's get started. Please add one CP. Oh, it tells me things. Wonderful. He's adding even more. So we're adding one CP because of this here. All here is choose and discard half their cards, round it up, and then draw three. So we have two cards. We'll have to discard two, having four, half of four being two. And then we get to draw three. What do we even have? Select one of your opponent's dice, force them to re-roll it. That's probably good. Um, we'll get rid of this one, and... Hmm, these are both decent. We'll get rid of these two, though. Group, oh, there we go, group them up. Plop them down, take three. What do we get? Better stuff? Different stuff? Add two damage, add one additional damage for each ability upgrade played this turn. Huh. It seems very, very specific. Alright, um, so that's the that part of the card resolved. Now we fight a green man. Let's see who we get. Lizard Mage. Alright. Uh, Alright. So I don't have any upgrade cards in my hand or anything. This is free. Inflict Time Bomb. It's a promo card. Cool. Gain Covert Ops. And Inflict Time Bomb. What do these things do? Let's take a quick look here. You may look at or rearrange cards. You may spend this token once per turn during your main phase and do one of the following. Play an ability upgrade. Or put an ability upgrade. I assume that means for free. Look at the top three cards of your deck. None of them are ability. Oh, wow. So she, like, tries to ramp into abilities fast. What's a time bomb do? Roll a six to attempt to defuse. Take four damage if you run out of time. When inflicted with this token, if you have at least six ability upgrades in play, place it on the one side, otherwise place it on the... I will just call that red and blue. During their upkeep phase, and a player affected with this must roll a dice on a 1 to 5, advance the time bomb on 6, remove it. When a time bomb is advanced, flip it to the red side. Oh, if it's on the red side, they take 4 unblockable. If it's on the blue, flip it to the red. Okay. Cool. So it's probably worth then playing this card right now. Um, 
just because it's free. We're in the main phase. Seems like all this stuff that it's doing is pretty good. Okay, and uh, we didn't hit the thing, um, which I expected because it looks like a one in six. What we got Vegas, baby. We will play that too because it's free. It just helps. No good point. Okay, great. Gain half a CP is, or whatever is half a CP. So half a one is one half. Round it up back to one. One CP. All right. So not great luck with the rolls so far, but let's um, let's get started trying to kill this boy. Okay, we have we have four, five, six. We have three, four, five, six. A small straight. What does her small straight do? Inflicts time bomb. If you have at least three ability, we don't have that. I should look at her things. Okay, it's just standard. Advance all time bomb tokens. Okay. Passive. Oh, begin the game. I didn't read that. Begin the game with three of these. Reading helps. All right, I'm doing my next main phase map, absolutely. Oh, I've gotten far too many. Oh, he started me with them, and I'm just an idiot. Okay, we have three cover mops chips. <coughs> we have the tool tips as well. Very, very handy. Okay. Okay. Trying to play the game wrong, but he will not let us. A good thing. Alright, let's try. Um, we might as well try for the large straight. So, um, we need this dice to be a two. Second chance. Ooh, now we're at two sixes though. Does that make me change for the drastic? No. One more time. Oh, we teased us. Okay, so we take the small straight here. We're gonna inflict time bomb on this man. He gets to defend. We're gonna deal. Oops. Tabletop simulator. Oh, I guess he did. I see how it's split. Never mind. It is chunked. The before when you zoomed on the board, it was the whole thing. But he um, he split the images, so it's a little bit easier to zoom in on each section. I I understand now. I was just being a dummy. Okay, defensive roll for this man. What are you doing? No chaos. Oh, I think he starts with chaos, though. Doesn't he? He does not. Um, okay. So he didn't defend anything. That's great for us. We do five damage. And he's time bomb -oed. Um Take away five. All right. And we're in the second main. Um... And now that I've read the passive and I know that I have these covert ops things, I will um, spend one because I'm sure we're gonna, like with the Scarlet Witch, run into something that says get rid of all your tokens. Uh, we're gonna look at the top three cards of the deck. Okay, ooh, there's an ability upgrade. None of them are ability upgrade cards. You may search it. Otherwise, put them back in any order. Okay, if none of them are ability upgrade cards, oh, this token may not be transferred or removed by any means. I should read. Put an ability upgrade from your hand into play. Look at the top three cards of your deck. If none are ability upgrades, one is. Otherwise, put them back in any order. That's unfortunate. You would think I'd get this. Okay, well, tip it's good. We'll get this when we draw on our upkeep, which I, I think I forgot to do it. I did. Because I got Vegas Baby in the card. I am... Okay. 
I technically am owed that card, but I'm not going to take it because I take the CP I didn't cr claim, but um, yeah, that's my bad. I, I should have one more card, but I shouldn't have that card. No big deal. <clears throat> okay. Um, all right. I'm not going to play any of these cards. Okay, let's fight this boy. One. Oh, he did it. I didn't even look. What does he want? Okay. So you've done it. And then we're going to roll one dice of yours. On this, do this. On this, do this. Then deal six plus one damage per chaos. So he's going to deal six damage that's defendable. He has no chaos on him. Um cool so let's defend how many do we throw for a defense we get to roll three we got two espionage and one baton okay so we do one and prevent two all right so that's not the worst prevent two damage and deal one unblockable back so he's doing six so we're gonna take four He's going down one. This, I assume, flips at this point. I think it's a during their upkeep phase that flips. Yeah. Okay, so he dies. I don't have to do anything. He's just dead. The bomb kills him when he has his next turn. Let's actually do our turn correctly. Take this, take this. Um, I could play this for free if I use another one of those. Um, covert ops things, but I don't think I need to. I'll just pay for it. Two. Um, okay. I mean, we'll do our turn, but it doesn't. It doesn't matter if I kill him; he's gonna die. Uh, two, three, four. We got an inside straight draw. What am I? Do I have anything that heals me? Time bomb. Gain covert ops. Oh, that's a large straight. Gain one CP and agility. I need a bunch of sixes. Oh, you can play ability upgrades during any roll phase. Okay, neat. I am. Honestly, I feel like I'll just gain agility. Gain agility. What does it do? Okay. Receive half damage. Infiltrate. I feel like you try for that just for the agility token. So we're maybe go for infiltrate here. Just hope for a six. Great. Great. Um, we did get this, the Widow's Gauntlets. Uh, gain one CP, and then six defendable damage, and one per ability upgrade, so seven defendable. Do I have to swing, though? I'd rather him just die. He doesn't have any chaos, so I don't care. Wouldn't have mattered. He's dead. Okay. Ooh, you're discarding them now, too. Very good idea. Roll the loot dice. <clears throat> Take our loot. I drew a card. Okay. And it even drew my card for me. Very, very nice. Okay, a lot of quality of life. And it's just such a short amount of time. Uh-oh. I think that's on a one to do to discard one positive status I don't have a positive status that can be discarded from what I'm reading here I 
Covert Ops cannot be removed by any means, so that card can suck my ass. Um, we don't take this, because we got a 1 to 2. <clears throat> we fight a green man. Okay, 11 HP. Likes the yellows. Do your main phase. Take your card. 6, okay, we're good there. Um, man, I think you spend one of these. Check. Assemble. That's pretty cool. Okay, so there, none of those are an ability upgrade. Um, if none are, you may reveal these cards, search your deck for an upgrade, show it to your opponent, add it to my hand. So let's look for something. I don't even know which ones to grab. Um, no, she doesn't have a very large uh, draw deck here. In Covert Ops and Agility, 6 Undefendable, that seems like a worthwhile card. Deal 6 damage, if we have at least 3, deal 8, Time Bomb. Vengeance. Hmm. Huh. She is pretty good. She, a lot, I like a lot of her stuff. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Um. I feel like I'll take this one. So, take this out, put it in our hand, and then what do we do? So that gets added to our hand. Okay, opponent, you saw it. Group these up, missed one, missed two, all right, and then shuffle this with R. It's shuffled. We are over the hand limit, but we're going to play Vengeance here. Um, let's cost this two. I don't know why I discarded it. That's smart of me. All right. Okay, um, that thing doesn't have first strike, so let's, uh, let's start going. That's a four. One, two, three, four. We already had a small straight. Maybe I should have upgraded that one. Um, I mean, we go for the large straight, I think. We also have this close to it anyway. We have two upgraded abilities, so that would be eight damage, but let's try for the, um, one, two, three, four. We need a five. Nailed it by not, not getting it. Okay, so we'll time bomb that guy. <clears throat> so we're doing um, hacked. Inflict time bomb, deal five damage. If you have at least three ability upgrades, deal seven. We are not quite there. We've only got two upgrades out. Grapple and vengeance. Um, but we have the time bomb, which is a nice four damage. Uh, so five damage, defendable. Let's defense roll. Steal one health per. You dick. Okay, so we're just gonna do four damage to him, five, and then I give him one back. And I'll take the one. Okay. Hmm. I'm almost certainly never gonna optimally use that card. I should just use it to get rid of it. Hero. Okay, I'm sure he'll get it. They always tend to on their last turn. They didn't get it. Okay, he didn't make it. So he doesn't get to do anything. Um, oh, that would have flipped, though, on his upkeep. I'm bad at remembering. I assume enemies have upkeep anyway. They must. Okay, so he's at seven. I have to hit him a little bit to finish him off. Chosen opponent gains a time bomb. I have to get rid of a card or sell one. Well, 
<clears throat> let's uh, let's fight. I'll deal with that in the second main phase. I've got this. He's dead. Widow's gauntlets. I wouldn't have thought how common that is. I don't need any of these dice to add anything. Um, yeah. So let's gain the CP from the Widow's Gauntlet. Deal six damage, and then one per ability upgrade you have. So eight, eight defendable. He gets to do a defense roll. I'm sure he'll steal all my HP. He didn't. He's just dead. And then get rid of this. We'll flip this boy. Delete that. Um, let's roll the loot. Take the loot. Okay. Ooh, healed by one. Very nice. And it did it for us. Okay, I have to sell a card. Um... damage. Get rid of this one. Sell that for a CP. Okay. Cool. Onwards. Flip. Let me play an ability upgrade for free. Don't have one. Street Rat. No first strike. <clears throat> Seems like every character I play, I bump up to the hand limit the whole time. <clears throat> so we are at it again, but we'll deal with it when I need to. Let's fight. Almost got Widow's Gauntlets. Uh, one, two, three, five. I could go for a large straight. Or a small straight if I roll both. I could use my damn cards. I don't like any of those cards. I need a four. Let's roll one, see what happens. This gets rid of Widow's Gauntlets, <clears throat> which I do like. Didn't get the four. So... Is that anything? That is not. This is not great. One, two, three. Could go for the small. Hope for a four. That's some damage. I can use cards too. One, two, three. I can also tip it. Maybe that's the play. Just do that. Get the large straight. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> Uses a card. Okay, so one CP. Get rid of that, and we'll tip this to a four. Increase or decrease the value of one dice by one. So, one, two, three, four, five. Large straight. Gain agility for the first time. Deal seven damage. And roll five dice. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. So, we're going to deal seven blockable. We roll all the dice. Okay. We got some stuff. We're going to inflict a time bomb and add one damage. Okay, everybody's been bombed so far. He gets a time bomb. We gained agility. We're doing seven damage plus one, so eight blockable damage. Almost got covert ops. Okay, let's do a defense roll for you. No good, sir. Eight damage to the face. 
eight. Okay, uh, second main for me. Don't need anything. Go ahead and upkeep for him, and then fight. Reroll, was he want a straight? Reroll. Asshole. One, two, three, four, small straight. <clears throat> Steal a CP and do CP as damage. I don't know what if that means that I can defend it. I don't think I can. Because it doesn't have... Um, the right icon. That sucks. Okay. Um, CP. Wrong way. And I think he's at 5. You know what I could do? I'm going to use this. To say not this time. That's the wrong thing. This, yes. One CP. Let's prevent six because he's doing five. I don't want to take five damage. Okay. <clears throat> this is probably good. Okay. Play that immediately for two. Cost me nothing. Alright. Uh, Alright. Roll. Three, six. She's got a. What does this do? How many agility? Stack limit of two. Alright, I'll take another one. Gain agility and advance all the time bomb tokens. So he's dead. Gain the agility. Advancing this um, kills him. It's unblockable. I wonder if I leave that on there if it kills the token. Oh, it does. I think it did on the other one. I didn't notice. So good. <laughs> oh. Upgrading the defense ability. Alright, we have to fight a blue room here. Does not. Um... Or it can't be avoided, so might as well do this one to make the salve seal for one more. Discard a random card. Everybody else draws a card. Ugh, I'm gonna be pissed if it's this one. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. It's that one. <laughs> Amazing. <sighs> Unfortunate. Had a 20% chance of that happening. And we, uh, we did it. Super cool. Fight the blue man. It's a blue lady. And she's blind. CP card. I think I'm gonna run into the damn CP limit, too. It's 15. I wonder if this goes past 15. It doesn't. So good. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, two of those is something. It's not something. But two sixes is non negligible. Two, three, four. Gain stealth, search for an ability, then shuffle. Can I search my damn discard file? Asshole game. Um, we have two, nine, how much health do you have? Twelve, nine, how much extra damage can I add? That's enough. Okay, I can kill you. Wait, no. Plague this turn. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Damn it. I'd be one shy of killing it in one turn. I could try to covert ops, but that won't help. Okay, um, what to do with this roll now? I don't know. I'm so pissed. So sad about that. <clears throat> 
Um, this is tricky. Two, three, four, two, three, four. I could try to reroll one of these and hope for a five. Change the value of two dice. Change the value. Two is six. I could spend a shitload of CP and do our ultimate. Search your deck for two ability upgrades. You know what? Let's do it. So we have two sixes. We'll play six it to six of dice, and then we'll play um, twice as wild. So we're going to burn four CP. One and three. Uh, two, three, four. And then all of these are going to be sixes to do her ultimate skill. So search your deck for two ability upgrades, put them into play, shuffle the deck, inflict time bomb, 10 damage. Search. Do I have two left? That'd be uh, unfortunate, wouldn't it? Okay, Widow's Gauntlets I've used a couple of times, so that one for sure. I haven't used that once. Infiltrate. That gives me a second option. I think... Whenever you play an ability upgrade card, draw a card, excluding this card whenever you play during your roll phase. I like this one more. I, I don't know if it's the right play, but I like this more. It's the wrong card. Where'd it go? <clears throat> okay, so now I've got one, two, three, four out in play. Shuffle. Time bomb and 10 damage. You know what? <clears throat> Let's just kill it. It has 12. Um, and we'll add it to, so we spent quite a bit of CP on this one guy, but uh, I don't want to fight it, so it's dead. Flip. Used up some of my CP, used up some of my cards, got a lot of ability upgrades, probably worth it. Okay, um, let's do this room. Remove all status effects from the active player, draw a card. Oh good, there goes my abilities. So one card, delete those. This stays because it cannot be removed. Fight a greenman. First strike, great. I don't think I've fought a shadow cat yet. Miss. Great. Six blockable damage, three of a kind, inflict bleed. I wonder if it knows that. I wonder if it knows about the three of a kind. It doesn't have it, but I'm going to flip this to a two and see what happens. It, that may not have triggered the scripting. Okay, anyway, just checking stuff. Okay, six blockable. Um, okay, I get to roll three. Okay, we have inflicted time bomb and we are dealing one. And I'm taking six. to you, six to me, super fun, upkeep, two CP for that, I'm almost out of ability cards to upgrade, that's still in there, that's still in there, 50, 50, for two CP, add them to your hand, 
You know what? Let's do it. Fuck it. TCP. Top five. Oh, it's not quite a 50. One, two, three, four. Alright. Oh, we got one. Add them to my hand. Put their ass back in any order. Life to being attacked. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I need it. Any agility. <coughs> um, this one makes sense to go last because I already know what the other cards are. Um, uh, get rid of this. This. And that. All right. Okay, um, you're bombed. That's good. Alright. Start killing. Wait, I got an ability upgrade card. I'm gonna play it. Hacked two. For one. It only cost me one. Okay, I didn't even look and see what my dice were, so I'm not, not being shysty. Uh, two, three, six. I almost have spy game. I mean, there's six, which is unlikely. But I could get agility if I get the six. If I don't get the six, what's my option? Hmm. Looking at at Widow's Gauntlet here. Thinking maybe I go for that instead. It's a safer route. I'll probably roll another six. Didn't get it. One, two, three. Oh my god. Alright. This is unfortunate. <laughs> what can I do? Oh my gosh, chosen player, additional up to five. I probably should do this. Cost me one. Do I do them all? Or do I keep trying for this? But I got a good chance. Come on, dice. There it is. Okay. Widow's Gauntlets. Get that CP back. Deal seven damage and then one. If you have at least five, add one. I don't think I have one, two, three, four. Oh, I do. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I am. This passive comes into play now. Um, so I add one to all my attacks and then I add one for every ability upgrade I have in place. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'm adding six damage on top of the seven. So I'm um, gonna swing for thirteen, which is pretty freaking good. Alright, defense roll, does not inflict bleed, it's dead. Goodbye shadow cat, I don't miss you. Roll the loot. 18, common loot card, oh yeah. Can't look at that yet, I get to check it out in the store. All right, um, let's get more of the key, portal key. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. I don't want to discard a salve, I'll roll a dice. I'm sure it'll be the worst option. Three, I instantly forget what the card said. Three to four, <laughs> receive six damage. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate, did I get the gold? If I gotten any gold, yeah, it looks like it did. Looks like it gave me the gold. Oh, three to four. I don't think I can change these dice because it's not a roll phase. Two, three, four, five, six. That sucked. Greedy. Oh, good. This guy does um knockdown and entangle. At least I go first. 
recoil. I knew I was going to get this card because uh, I put it there. The next few cards won't be a surprise. 4, 4, 3. Do I have anything with? No, okay. 6 damage, straight up. I think you go for that. I, I don't think that counts as a roll. I like picked it up and it flipped. So I'll try to do it legit. Okay, it didn't matter. Okay, so f 7 damage, plus 1, 8 defendable. I don't have to, I have a way to bump it up. No, too bad. Okay. Oh, good. We've inflicted knockdown, but he does take the 8. 1, take a knockdown. Okay, roll. He's fulfilled his roll objective. He no, oh, just okay. That's what he wants. Uh, deal seven damage and inflict entangle. Okay, it is defendable damage. So there's that. Got some negative boys. We also have ways to fix it. Only after being attacked. Prevent half the damage rounded up. I don't have any evasion. I guess I'll do my defense roll and see what happens. And then I'll see about playing that card. Get to roll three. <clears throat> okay. Preventing one and doing one. If you have four ability upgrades in play, I can re-roll any of these dice. I want to roll more of them. Um, so he actually dies, but the damage is dealt simultaneously. So six damage, but I don't want to take six damage. I'd like to do this. For zero. Roll two dice. Gain one CP if I get eye shadow. Okay, I got that. Did not get the six. I got a CP. Uh, all right. And Additional roll attempt. I'm just going to take the six. That sucks. <clears throat> yeah, alright, and you're dead. I screwed that up. That's okay. I forgot to reduce his health. Um, I think the loot chips are over here. This should work. Roll the dice. Yep, okay, cool. So that is okay. <clears throat> Alright, that was a bad room for me. Entangle, I think, means you can roll the dice one last time. Knockdown, I think you have to pay or something to get rid of it. 2 CP! Oof, an entangle. At the conclusion, remove it. Okay. That sucks. How much does the thing cost to remove Steve's stuff? That's one. Alright. Um. Gotta go get that key. This didn't. Oh, that's for a five or a six. Okay, I see. <clears throat> Remove all status effects from the active player. Fuck yeah. I lose the plus two, but otherwise pretty good. Draw two. Worked out for me for a change. <clears throat> and we fight a blue. Do I want to salve up? I'm at... I'd heal for five. I think I will. 
I feel like I should spend my last Covert Ops chip. I shouldn't seem to have anything that cares about positive statuses. Top three. There's one. Put them back in any order. I really wish it was like, also take the card. These are all really good. Put this, this, and this. Oh, you're probably supposed to spend it during your main phase, yeah, okay. All right, um, I could draw into that. Spend one, I might as well, just to have it. So we'll spend one for that, and we're gonna draw two, and then we'll upgrade Red Room Training for two. Whenever you play an ability upgrade card, you may play during the roll phase. If you have five, add one. I guess it was not worth playing that, other than the fact that it's gonna add damage to um, some of these skills. So it's adding six damage. Or no, it adds one. Okay, so that actually didn't matter, but whatever, we did it. Um, we got the guy out. Let's uh, let's go. Okay, one, one, four, five, six. Uh, I could try to go for a straight. What else do we have? We have almost have spy game. I have infiltrate. Inflict time bomb and advance time bomb and gain agility. That seems too passive on a blue. Gain covert ops and then deal six undefendable. I like that more, but that's harder to hit. The straight seems more possible. I need a three. Two and a three would be even better. Oh my. Spy game as possible. Right? You go for spy game here, I think. I don't know. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. But I'm gonna do it. Yanji, get rewarded for trying. Okay, so covert ops. Give me that. Give me that. Deal six straight up. Plus seven because of this. Not plus seven. Add one. So we're doing seven damage. And I don't think I can make you die faster now. Okay, who's got a lot of health? Five, six, seven. Okay. Second main, I don't think I want to do anything. Alright. Hurt me, baby. He's just looking for... Didn't get it. Suck. Okay, so it failed. I'm sure that... Yeah, okay. That's, that'd be hard to script. So, he failed his offensive roll, but I have to lose a gold. That's great for me. I'd much rather lose a gold than a crapload HP card, CP. 
wild. All right, um, at the hand limit once again. Over it even. Ooh. Ooh. We like this one. One CP. Add one damage per ability upgrade. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six upgrades in play, plus another one. So add seven damage. So 14 defendable damage to this guy. Yes, please. Prevent one, and then I lose a gold. So I've lost two gold from him. He's taking 13, because <clears throat> he's preventing one, so he's dead. Flip. All the dice. the gold back oh got it and then some okay i need to sell a card i probably should have done that at a different point but that's fine i'm gonna get rid of this because i don't ever play it right cp for that card we're good go here remove all statuses from yourself you may be two cp you play one card from your discard pile into my hand can I do that at the hand limit? I would absolutely love to do that. I'm gonna do it because the card says I can and maybe I'll sell one to be fair. I don't know if I'm at the hand limit if I just couldn't do that. Uh, lose the agility again. Cool, this stays. I'm gonna get my, um, this one into my hand and then I don't know if I can sell a card right now or not I am not sure here um, I don't know get rid of this sell this I don't know if that was a legal maneuver um, but everything was paid for um so, sorry if that's uh, not not how that card is supposed to work, or how that um, event. Okay, Dre Blackie. We're almost gonna get the reshuffle. Hey, <laughs> hey there. Spend all your money. Can I? Sp I assume I can. Um, yeah. Spend two to upgrade that. And then, um, spend only one. We'll spend that. All right, we are fully upgraded. I don't think I've ever had that. All right, I like it, I like it. So we add, um, on on Widow's Gauntlets, we had eight damage on top of the seven that it does. That's wild. Oh look, we're gonna do Widow's Gauntlets. <laughs> Amazing. This is the uh, Mind Blast power from being the Scarlet Witch. This is like, this is super good. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight upgrades. So we're doing eight extra damage plus one from this and we're adding and the, the base of this is seven. Um, yeah, so nine, nine plus seven. We're doing 16 blockable damage to you. You prevent one, so you take 15, you're dead. Bye. <laughs> Loot dies. Gold. Cool. Let's get the last key shard thing. Please add a CP. Sure. Don't mind if I add a CP. Remove all status effects. Yep. Got none. Don't worry about it. Every card removes all the status effects. 
Yokai. Silence and Hex on a fail. Maybe I'll get Widow's Gauntlets and that won't matter. Two cards left. Mmm. Alright. Come on, Widow's Gauntlets. I, these are useless now. Well, they're, maybe they're not. They're like deck cyclers, if nothing else. Sixes are good, but mm. what would grapple do? That's pretty good. Do I have any way of forcing the issue if I don't hit it? Though is the issue. I don't. I need two more sixes to try to go for grapple. Oh. Do I? I feel like it's not gonna work out. I've got a one and six twice to get, well no, I've got three dice. Change the value of one dice. Okay, I need one six at least. I can now do the ultimate if I wanted to. Which is somehow worse, <laughs> kind of, because this is going to let me get a CP and an agility, add one damage per ability upgrade you have in play. So eight damage plus another one, so nine, 16 undefendable, and again, a CP and agility. Like, you do that, and it dies. Agility, CP, 16 undefendable, yokai, you don't have the ability to stand up to that. Black Widow, pretty good. Two gold, a lot of gold. We're not at the hand limit. Um, I guess I could delete these tokens, they're kind of bugging me. Let's do a full clear, why not? We're doing pretty well. Um, I have all the key shards, two salve. Yeah, we'll fight this room and see how the healing looks. So let's do it. Receive three damage and explore. Or gain two. We'll do that. One, two. Get a blue guy. Maybe I'll kill you in one turn. Oh, it's this card. I don't want to take the three. I'm sure I'll take more than three if it, this goes poorly. Okay, hello hand limit, my old friend. Oops. Come on, roll. Hello, Widow's Gauntlets, my old friend. <laughs> yep, we do that. Okay, so again, we get one from the red room. We have eight, so we're doing nine extra damage. And then, um, so 16 blockable damage for this guy. Which, if you don't block any, you die. Oh, but you can ignore all damage. Come on, no sixes. Yes! See ya! Roll the dice. 17. Big money. Some more gold. I have to sell a card. Um, that's super good. I'm going to get rid of one of these. This one's more expensive.
We'll go fight the purple room. Take us off. Parasite and knockdown. I forget what these do. Knockdown, I remember. But parasite. I forget what that one does. Let's look real quick. Um, there it is. During your upkeep phase, player infected with this token has a positive status effect. They receive one damage additionally if they spend it. What? If they spend a positive status effect. I'm not going to spend an effect, I'm going to spend a card. I guess at this point, <laughs> it's funny, but by like is an instant, so I'm going to have to take the damage from Parasite because it's going to happen in the upkeep phase. Oops. Uh, yeah, and I would assume that... Um, well, agility is definitely positive status. Oh, covert ops isn't, so yeah. Alright. So, I uh, take one. Oh, well. Alright. Um, three gold. That's probably was scripted. I didn't check. But he, um, he's been doing good about that. A crushing golem. 16 health. Okay, so I take one. Oops, I take one, I can't stop. For the upkeep, combat point card. I'm gonna flip this, and I'm gonna shuffle it. I don't know if that would happen. I don't know if it matters when that resolves. Remove all status of tokens. Oh, sorry. Remove a status token. Okay, so I have to spend two CP to get rid of knockdown. Otherwise, I can't fight. And then I'll spend another one to play get out of here and get rid of the parasite. I don't think that counts as using a status to remove it, so I'm not going to take the three. Um, if it comes down to it where this was made or, ba made or broken by three, then we can have a discussion. Okay, so Black Widow's healthy all over again. Come on, favorite skill. Can I get lucky again? I mean, I'm there. Because I got, I got cards that get me there. Can I get it for free? Nope. Okay. Uh, I want to do... Samesies. This is a six. I don't think I paid. So we're going to do um, grapple again. So gain a CP. Gain an agility. Up to two. Deal seven undefendable. So just again, we're going to add eight plus one. So 16 undefendable damage. Hey, how much health do you have, man? Oh, exactly 16. Sorry about your luck. <laughs> All right, let's roll it. by two. Very good. Apparently I had some other ones that I didn't deal with. Bonus damage token. Hopefully that doesn't matter. Okay, um, how's the south economy looking? Three. Do I want it? Like, does this thing deal 20 damage to me? Probably not, right? Probably not, right? Probably not, right? <laughs> Possible token spawn. Delete them if you don't need them. Okay. Begins with one additional King's Hand token. Okay. Here's your one additional. Two. No thirsty boy. 30. I don't think I can do 30 damage, unfortunately. Uh, did you remind me to take my 2 CP? You did. I didn't see it pop up. 
gold. Was I at 34 already? I know I looked. The recording will have this. I don't recall. I don't think... Oops, I don't think it added that gold. But, um... I'm almost positive it didn't. I'm gonna add it. I added it. That might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it didn't. Alright, main phase it. Alright, let's whoop some ass. Change the value of any two dice. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Okay, what do I need for the widow's glove thing? Closer. That was. shit. Okay, that's fine. We'll just I think it was on that. It was either it was either green or blue. It was it was progress. I need two greens. Shit. I do have this. Change the value of any two. Okay. Blue. <laughs> Alright. Uh we'll use twice as wild here for three. And we'll make these both twos to hit Widow's Gauntlets, gain a CP, which is awesome. It's kind of like that card only costs two. Um, we're doing 16 undefendable. What does your defense do? I will add the plus one chip to do 17 defendable. I think I said undefendable, but yeah, that's just, I think that's just a straight plus one. easily on the status page. I'm not going to look for it. Um, we're going to call that 17 blockable damage. I am bled. Five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 10, 15, 16, 17. Okay. I don't know what bleed does. Might not matter. He wants those. Reroll. He's made it. Inflict poison. Entangle and two bleed. Okay, entangle and poison suck. What's the bleed? Um, does this tell me? Did you tell me in this? That would be something that. Oh, it does. Okay. Stack limit of two. So I'm at the stack limit. So he doesn't even. How does he do damage? At the conclusion of your turn, your opponent receives one unblockable for negative statuses. That's a passive of yours. Okay. Uh, for negative statuses, that's four damage. Cool. That sucked. He's not going to be too bad to kill, though. Alright, upkeep. One card, please. Remove a status. Let's remove all status. Except those covert ops. Like, the agilities are nice to have, but they don't do jack shit for this guy. So we'll spend two. And just delete all of these statuses. These stay. No, nothing can take away my covert ops. Roll. I mean, you know what we're doing. We're killing him. He's dead. Like, I'm gonna get this. That's The game says that's a 6. And that's a 5. So we didn't get it, so we'll use uh, So Wild. Change the value of any 1 dice. Change this to a 2. Pay the 2. And we're going to use uh, Widow's Gauntlets, gain a CP for that. And again, we are dealing 16 blockable. And all he can do on a defense is bleed me. Go ahead and do it. I'm sure you'll hit it. You didn't, and you're dead. Goodbye, Emperor Snake guy. Roll the dice. That's the full clear. 
Nice. Epic loot card. Take this. So it updates the score for us. Okay, and that's the first scenario done. Black Widow, super strong. The shop is open. We identify this. Oh. We identify this too. Oh, it's pretty good. Double up. Um, how much money do I have? Oh, it tells me. He yells at me for not looking. <laughs> 20 bucks. Um, I may search that deck for an ability upgrade and put it into play instead of its original cost. That's worth it for her. So we are out of money, but those are all really good cards. Okay. Let's check the score sheet. Um, scenario. Unspent gold. Oh, I didn't realize that was scored. Uh, okay, and then we did explore them all. Sweet. All right, that looks, I mean, that looks good. Um, that one boss card I don't think added the money. And this didn't update, if that matters, from the store spending. And it doesn't look like it rounded up, actually, either. So I could have maybe bought one more card. Um, other than that, though, that was a really fun run. Black Widow is super good. Oh, and it even, like, cleans my board. It shuffles my deck. Just well done, sir. Well done. Make a save here. Uh, dice thrown. Very good, very good. I can't wait for this to be out so everybody else can uh, check this out. This is so much fun. It's so well done. All right, um, thanks for watching, guys. I will hopefully be back with more of this.